Hello, everybody. Renee here, and um, I'm going to be doing what is called a desk organizer. And um, I'm going to be using the symbols of fortune. Um, and you'll see here the symbols of fortune suite. And this is a great, great set. Um, the total suite is um, um, about $83. But anyway, um, the Crane of Fortune bundle is the stamps, as you can see right here, and is the dies, as you can see them right here. They're absolutely beautiful. They make beautiful cards. The stamps, as you're going to see, are fantastic. All right, so the this uh, um, is this. Then I wanted to show you um, the entire suite um, would include ribbon and the um, polished dots, and they are um, backed um, with uh, sticky. And then this paper, the specialty mother of pearl, very shiny, very glossy. You wouldn't even be able to ink with your standard ink pads, maybe stays on would work, but you, it really is a glossy shiny. I did not get that. I did get the DSP and of course the ribbon and I did not get that either in soft succulent, but uh, the designer paper is gorgeous and it's pretty amazing to be honest. Um, here it is in all its glory. Um, this is the one side where you have the gold and the um, gray. This paper, you constantly want to touch it because you want to see, it looks like bamboo paper and you want to see if it is. And it, it is raised and you do have texture to this paper, but it is not bamboo, but you constantly are looking at it and wanting to touch it. It's just, as you can see, absolutely gorgeous. All right, and then on the flip side, and then make this fairly easy. On the flip side, you have it right here. And uh, again, here is this. Again, you feel like you want to constantly touch it. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that gorgeous scenery? And uh, beautiful flowers. And of course, the flowers are able to be die cut out without a doubt. This pattern, gorgeous, kind of diffuse flowers. Again, that texture is just to die for. Then here are these beautiful birds, and um, that is gorgeous. And then these flowers and this background. And of course, these can be die cut out if you like. So this represents the designer paper and the... Um, bundle and um, it is definitely if you're if you're looking for a set I mean I have used it ever since I've got it that it, it inspired me some you know some sets inspire you some sets don't well well this set inspired me a lot so um, you might like that set all right so let's look at this box and um, I'm gonna be going live in a second. So I'm going to be presenting uh, the box and quickly the bundle, et cetera, and then move on. This video should take, uh, shouldn't be too long. All right, so um, I'll see you in a minute when I go ahead and um, start broadcasting live. I am probably just about on. I am sure, just checking that uh, I am live on Facebook. It says I am. Don't on. quite see myself. I am sure, just checking. Don't quite see myself. I am sure, just checking. There's the voices off, sorry about that. I am on. Great, excuse my reach. I will turn that off. Hi, 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 everybody. Renee here, and I'm gonna be using the symbols of fortune on page 22 and 23. 
here is the stamp set and here are the dies. It's a very beautiful, distinctive set to say the least. And I've been using it a lot already. Um, also here is the uh, paper that I purchased. Here are the other items that belong to that suite on page 20. Three. I had to show you this paper. I just could not get away with not showing you this paper. It is gorgeous. It feels like bamboo. Uh, it's really kind of cool. So I thought I'd show it to you. If you haven't seen it or you didn't get it, this is definitely worth it. Let me see if I can switch this. Yay. I did it. <laughs> and here's that other side. It really, you keep touching it because you think it's going to be bamboo or something. It's really kind of cool. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do today is show you how to make this handy dandy, pretty, uh, pretty big uh, desk organizer. All right. So it has a drawer. All right. And the drawer is uh, holding some dimensionals and dots and this, um, the washi tape. Uh, the drawer can also hold ink spots and that. All right, so you can see that's, that's pretty large. Then um, the other uh, items, as you see here, it can hold this right here on top. It can hold also, obviously, things like your little daubers. Um, it does have a little front uh, pouch that I build. That's not necessary, uh, but I do build one. And um, I put things that I like. Now, a lot of people might make a calendar card. I decided not to have the mini calendars. Um, um, I don't use them that much, but a lot of people do. So definitely, and you could still use the pocket, even if you had the calendar, you still could use the pocket to add things to it. And of course you can simply add a calendar that you purchased or made from your stamp set like that and still use the pocket. Uh, the things that I put in the pocket is typically stuff that I constantly lose. So that's where that comes from. I'll keep those out though for now. Uh, the next thing is this part, which is also fantastic. And you'll see I have my pencil. You'll see I have my scissors. The scissors do fit in here, as you can see also. I do have my pick tool right here. I do have a Wink of Stella. And I do have my glue, things that I consistently lose. And so that is the box that we are going to be making today. All right, so um, let's go ahead and start working with that box. And I will refer to it. I'm gonna put these to the side though now. Hopefully I won't lose them, we'll see. <laughs> but um, here we go. All right, so basically you need three sheets of cardstock, okay? And um, cardstock A is the main box right here, the main box. And that is going to be cut at seven and a quarter by 10. And then you're going to score all the sides at one inch and then on the long side, a four and a half and a five and a half. All right. So that would be your first one. Then what you would do, I'm just going to show you right away for that one, is you are going to go ahead and you are going to cut off these pieces and then miter everything else on the side here. Okay, as you can see, miter everything on the sides. And I have this done already for you. That goes that way, sorry. It does go that way, so you can see right here. Okay, so you're just gonna miter those and cut those, all right? And so that is the main box. All right, I think I've, we'll go through things as I build it. Okay, then comes B, 
which is the easel part of your card. And the easel part is going to be cut at seven and a quarter by eight and a half. So all you have to do is cut that 11 inch side and you're gonna score it at one inch, four and a half inches, eight inches. And then on the short sides, one inch on each side or one and six and a quarter. Again, here, what you're going to do is this time, you are going to cut all of those ends off, okay, for that easel part, and then miter everything else, all right? And so that's going to be that piece, okay? That is B. Now that third card stock, this is not uh, light on cardstock, but I've kept my initial box for two and a half years and they're incredibly sturdy. They just are. C is actually the drawer. The drawer is right here. Okay, a great little drawer. And uh, here for the drawer, you're going to have six and five eighths by eight and a half. So you're gonna cut off the 11 inch side to six and five eighths. And you're going to score all sides by one and, uh, by one and five eighths and three quarters of an inch, all right? And then what you're going to do with that is you are going to cut these three off on each one, as you can see here. All right, and once you do that, do not miter because this box, okay, is actually put together without any glue at all. If you miter, like I did in the um, tiger one, you have to glue. And this does not have to be glued at all. And this is last, I mean, this is an even beautiful uh, stamping up paper. This is when I wasn't even a demonstrator. I made this on my own. And uh, this box right here, um, this drawer um, has never been glued. It's absolutely fantastic. Okay, we will do a little gluing, but very minorly. All right, so that is a fabulous, fabulous box. All right, and so that is C, all right? So what we're going to do next then is I'm going to go ahead and start building the basic box. And so what I have done here is this is the actual box. This is going to be the back. So this part is the back and this is the front. And so how that's going to close on itself is you are going to glue all of these down first like this. And I'm gonna show you that real quick, just like that, all right? And so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and glue all of those down. I'm gonna get the edges because those are the most important. And these are all the sides. As you can see, I'm just gluing all the sides here. Then I'm going to use my bone folder. Go ahead and take those down. That, that, that. And then that. And that, and that, all right, and there is my piece. Now, this ends up to be the box, okay? And that this is the top front and that's the top side here. So that ends up to be right here and right here, right, and inside. So what I'm going to do is, is this drawer, if you don't put something here, it has a tendency, the drawer, to catch. So I don't want the drawer to catch that much. So from the remnants of C, so C you had, that is from the um, drawer, 
okay, you have the largest piece, you will cut two pieces of cardstock from that, a five by seven eighths that is gonna go right over here. And that's gonna stop it from sticking too much when you're trying to glide that door in and out. All right, so you wanna put that right there in the middle, that's fine, just like that not getting glue anywhere. And then five by three and a quarter right here so that you can go ahead and have it glide more easily. All right, so again, I'm gonna put most of the glue right on the edge to keep it down. I am going to put all of the measurements. Uh, I am going to list all of the measurements in the appropriate spot. I forget if it's guides or albums, but whichever one we usually post it in, I will be posting those in there. So that will make it glide a lot easier through the um, through your your box. All right. So because that be, then is the bottom and the one side. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I can go ahead and I'm not gonna put that on yet. I'm gonna go ahead and put my, um, I'm gonna go ahead and place my easel on there, which is B. And here with the easel, what you end up doing is you cut both of these areas right with that easel. I think this is it. This is our easel. And you cut both of those ends off and then you mitered it. And then what you do is you are glu gluing just those flaps right here. Okay, just those flaps right here for part B, which is your easel. And so I did that already. So I'm going to put that away and I'm going to go ahead and pull B out. All right, now, so we have A and B complete as far as gluing those sides. Now we have to glue these together, all right? And what we must realize is this right here is the flap that's actually going to sit. See right there, the flap that's going to sit at the top. All right. And then, so um, that is the top part. Okay. And then this is then the back. And this is the back, the one with the flaps. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and glue these two pieces together just this way, all right? So you want this, all of these on the inside, all right? So all I'm going to do is you see that I put this tape down And I'm going to remove that tape. And I'm just going to stick that right on there, right in the center here, right on that line. I think that's pretty good. But... You know, when you're always at an angle, it's a little more difficult because you, I have to bring it down. So I'm gonna bring this down a little bit so I can see it. So there and there, that looks good. That looks good, that looks good. So that's going to get taped down, okay? And so now we're gonna see that we're gonna actually glue this here and then put these tabs on the inside. All right, so we'll do that in a second. But now we're going to use the DSP to decorate. Now, you don't have to use DSP. I want to show you that you can simply stamp the top and leave the, the back blank. You'll see when I wrote the directions, there's a little asterisk that says no need and all that kind of stuff. 
But right now what we're going to do is we're gonna use some of our DSP and we're gonna look at what we had to cut. So I decided to put DSP right here and right here. So right here, right here and right here. So this is the top of the box. And this is a five and three sixteenths by three and a half. I know they're awful numbers, but it works. So I'm going to put that right there on top. And my direction is um, going this way, right? So I know that. So that's going to get laid down right there. And pretty much what I did is yours might vary a little bit depending on how you scored and cut, but basically that covers that whole top and that was purposeful. Then what I'm going to do is I need the front strip and um, the front uh, strip is going to be uh, five by three quarters. And I actually do two of those strips because um, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and um, I kind of like the design. So I went ahead and I wanted them both ends. You don't have to do that. As you see right there, you do not have to do that. I mean, I'm more is always better for me, but <laughs> I know that sometimes less is more, but not for me. <laughs> but I'm only going to put the one strip on just to make sure I have the time and that I don't run out of time, making sure that's upright. So I will just put the one strip, but these are optional. These are definitely optional. I think these are going to be, uh, I'm giving, gifting this, um, um, or one of these, actually, I'm going to be gifting to um, a customer of mine who's been with me the entire time. So, all right. So after I do that one, I do have to do this one and this one. So I am going to do the front and the back, all right? And so the front and the back, what I decided to do, I'm going to tell you what those sizes are. Those are two by, uh, two of them, five by three and a quarter. All right. And um, what I am doing, this is the front of my easel. And that's what I'm going to do is put that on that front of that easel. You can see here, just like that. And I can put it higher because I'm going to use that pocket. You can make this a little bigger if you like. But I didn't have to, so I didn't. You can make that a little longer if you like. And I made two of these for the front and the back. Again, you do not have to have uh, two of these. and you definitely can stamp on this instead of uh, using the designer paper, but this is such gorgeous designer paper. I decided to use the designer paper. And so there's that. I am not going to glue the back right now because of time. So um, next I am going to go ahead and I have that and that and that. Let's see how I'm doing. I have that, so that, that other DSP would go right here and that other piece would also go right there. All right, so, um, but you can make it larger than mine. I see I might have, should have made it a half an inch longer, especially for the back, or maybe that is the size of the back is good. We'll have to see. Oh no, I used the, no, it's exactly the same. And the back of the easel. Oh, see, that didn't work quite as well. Um, I, yeah, that's not going to be the measurement for that back side. I don't know what I was measuring or what I was thinking, but that definitely is a quarter inch too long. So it should definitely be the five 
but then what it should be up here is definitely going to be a five. I'll fix that. It's five by and then leaving a quarter, two and three quarters. I don't know what I was thinking, but that's what that one is for the back side. And I will make that correction when I write it up. All right. So now let's go ahead and let me make sure that I have glued what I wanted to glue so that I can go ahead and put the box together. Yes. All right. So what I need to do now is I'm going to go ahead and glue this right here to glue it to right there. All right. That's all I want to do. I want to glue that to the back there. And I'm going to take that and take it right up there and glue it down just like that and lift my box just like that and then use my bone folder <laughs> in there to get that glued and set. Now, I'm not sure we really need these tabs, but I do think they just reinforce the box. So they really are okay. So I would use the tabs and I would glue them down. All right. So those tabs will come in handy and you can simply glue those tabs down. So I'm going to put a little glue at the very kind of end here. And I'm going to glue that tab at the very end here, like that. Glue that tab down, glue that tab down. There we go. Now, before you close this up, you have to have your drawer. Your drawer has to be in there to glue this last piece in. Do not do this beforehand. And this is a little bit got stuck somehow. There it goes. Anyway, so you want to make sure this is in there before you glue this down. Now, I am a proponent of glue because I think it's the best. And I did put my drawer in there, even though it's not the same drawer. It does not matter. They should be the same size. And I'm going to put my drawer down. I'm going to put my flap down from my easel because my drawer is in there. And I'm simply going to place it where I want to, like that. I know what I could have done first, but that's OK. I'm always in a hurry to put this flap down. <laughs> that's all right. There is my flap. There's my box coming together. So cute, eh? All of this is glued together and holding together. All right. So now for my box, all I need to do for my box is you put this in, put this in, put this in, just start folding it all in together. like this, you can see here. Oppa. Now, box is gonna hold. I, you can glue if you want to, but I don't see any reason to glue. Now, I did get some uh, drawer uh, pieces that I wanted to use so that I could glue it here to reinforce. So if this is going to be where I'm going to punch my hole, I want to put my DSP right here for the pull. I want to put my piece of DSP here, and I'm going to go ahead and do that and here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put my DSPs right here. So that's the one. Then I'm going to punch my hole. 
and we are almost done with this. Like that. And that's going to go in. So that's on the inside, right? That's on the inside. And then this is on the outside. And I'm just going to put it that way. I'm going to put it that way. And that just reinforces it. Not that it really needs it, to be honest, because mine lasted forever. That drawer was fantastic. There you go. I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to put that in. That in. Opa. Like that. Like that. Again, you can glue it. I, I just won't. I'm going to punch a hole through the center now that it's sturdy. And I'm gonna just find the center and punch a hole in it, if I can. Oh. Excellent. And then I'm gonna use a fairly thick ribbon. Of course, I'm gonna use the new frayed white ribbon since it's so gorgeous. And you basically are going to um, take a piece. And I made this one this way, but this one's pretty heavy duty. So I'm going to see if I just go ahead and put a knot here in it, if that'll, if that'll do the trick to go ahead and get that like that. And I'm going to do it at this end. And then I'm just going to push that through. And there's my pull. And I can trim my pull, obviously. Shouldn't have used those scissors. Oh, should have used my ribbon scissors. OK, so then. I'm going to take that and I probably have one little spot that's snagging that I can work on, but um, that's on the other side with those tabs. But basically there is your box. Now, the other last item that I have is there were two strips that are produced when you cut um, A, the main box and I'm using the fatter strip and I cut that, it's 10 by one and a quarter. And then I'm going to cut it to eight and a half. And once I cut it to eight and a half, I'm gonna score at one and five eighths on each end. And I'm going to, on the short side, I'm going to score it at um, three eighths of an inch so that it is the right size. And then once that is done, I'm going to go ahead, I'm just showing you all these pieces, but you don't need those pieces. So that was the fatter one. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off right here. and cut this off right here. This is oh, I only have one minute left, but I think I still be okay. Then I'm going to glue this part down right here. And you really don't even have to, but I'm going to glue that down and then I'm going to glue that, that that flap is going to go on the inside and get glued. All right. But I did have, which I wanted to have some DSP and it's five and one eighth by one and one eighth. And so I am going to put this DSP right here. So I'm going to glue that down.
course, if I could get that. Yay, there it is. Almost done. And that is going to be at the top. Oh, <laughs> that's going to be at the top. All right, like that. And then I'm going to glue. I should have put this on earlier. That's what I was talking about. I forgot. But I'm going to hopefully not put too much glue here. This is the crucial part because if this doesn't do well, then it doesn't. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down all the way down. make that pocket. So I got that. All right, I got that. And so now all I have to do, hold that down for a few seconds. All right, and then I'm going to glue right here, this tab, just right there and put that in like that and hold that down. And then take that tab and put glue on it right there at the end. Hard to see a three-dimensional box like that. And put that in just like that. And now I'm going to have a very nice piece here. Now I, I had thought of putting another strip of the flowers across and I still might do that just because I'm foofy. <laughs> and uh, so this ends up to be your box. And um, as you see the back side is left plain, it, you can leave it plain. Um, this side is left plain at this point. I did how you can add the extra DSP. I will make a change on that back for that piece. The front piece really doesn't need it because it gets covered up with your um, um, pocket. So I hope that you saw all of that. And I hope that you might make one. And I enjoyed showing you this. And I hope to see you real soon. All right. And um, I'm going to sign off of the lie. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. OK, I think I am still recording. And again, you heard that one change on that back side for if you wanted designer paper. I did want to remind you that um, you really could instead stamp and do exactly the same thing, except here it's going to have a stamped bottom. The item I like about this and it being stamped so much is that it's kind of cute with the legs there and the bird coming up and that's always beautiful. The stamp set is gorgeous, all right? so. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like at the bottom uh, if you did. And if you have any questions, um, I will have um, pictures on my Facebook page, um, Renee's Paper Crafts. Uh, you can join the group and you can see the picture with the dimensions on there. The dimensions will be coming. I guess I could, let me show you the dimensions. Let me do that um, so that you have them right here because that was a live and with lives, um, you know, it's, it's a little different because I am, well, I'll be typing them up anyway so I can send them here. So I will post them, but it might take a day or two before I get there. And if you really want to go ahead and get that done, why don't you take a screenshot? And here are all the directions.
for our box. And the one again had to be um, the cardstock um, had to be changed. Let's see, where was that? Um, inside slides are fine. And the cardstock um, score, oh no, the DSP, it was the DSP that was wrong. And so let's look at the DSP, the pull front and back easel. So front and back easel, um, should that should be changed. And we're going to change that to, as I said before, that should have been, um, I said it should have been, I don't know why that was so wrong. That's three and a quarter. Maybe that's all it is. Oh, it, oh, I see, because it gets buried. Oh, no, I am not wrong, because it would get buried down here. So you know, that would have been OK. That would have been OK, because it goes underneath. So basically, that measurement is fine, because it does get hidden. That's why I did it that way. Um, what I would do if I put it off on the end, what I would do now if I did this, I would probably do it, um, I would have to cut this, since this space is a three, two and three quarters is what I would make this piece and put it down here if I put it on after. If I put it on before, it'll fit because it gets hidden by this back. All right, I hope I made sense. And so um, that um, is fine. And um, please like, and I will be talking to you later. All right, bye-bye now.